Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Frank, musician, photographer here in the Midwest, and this is how to add transitions and cut video into scenes using Power Director Mobile. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to assume that you already installed the Power Director app on your phone. So the first thing we want to do is click on that. So this is for Android. So this is Power Director, and by the way, it is free. So no worry about having to pay so let's get started from scratch so we want to have a new project so let's tap on new project and let's just give it a title here I'm gonna go with how to add transition how to add transitions and cut video into scenes okay so if you filmed with a wide angle perspective you want to do 16 by 9 if you filmed in the portrait mode you want to do 9 by 16 now the scenes that I'll be using for this tutorial are 16 by 9 so let's go with 16 by 9 hit OK and I'm assuming you filmed on your phone, but if you didn't, you can bring in your footage from a drive and install it onto your SD card, and then you'll be able to get your media for me. I filmed the scenes that I want on the phone. I use open camera app, so let's tap on open camera. And the first way I'm gonna show you is by adding one scene. So you're gonna tap on it, see the plus button, tap on it again, and now it adds it to your timeline. So now that you're on your timeline, to add a transition, what you want to do is you want to highlight. Now, this version gives you tutorials on the screen, but since I'm showing you, we can just skip that. Okay, so here is the scene. Let's just play it through real quick. So there you go. It's just a tree out in the field, summer day. All right, so to add a transition, what you want to do yeah, it's going to come to an end. So you want to scrub back and you want to find the spot that you would like to add your transition for the sake of the tutorial. We'll just put it right there in the middle. You see that blue line? That's your pen head. And then what you want to do is you want to highlight. And you see on the left hand side, these icons popped up when we highlight our scene. So here's the pencil and here is the cut tool so what you want to do is you want to tap on that and you see what happened there it divided the scene in half and now you have a transition box so let's tap on that and see what happens so here are the transitions that come with the program for free you can get more if you want to buy a packet of transitions for $4.99 uh, but these are the ones that it comes with and uh, Let's just scroll through and see what we got. So we got cross, crystallize, dissolve, evaporate. We got quite a few to pick from. So we have this film scroll, fade, triangles, glow, mirror. So you can see that you got quite a bit of effects happening here. And if you tap on any of them, it'll, it'll highlight it. And it means you hit that plus button and it'll add it to your scene. So for this tutorial, we'll just keep it very simple and let's pick one that's easy that we can easily see so let's pick uh, this box so, okay let's pick the box and add it now you can see that it added it to the transition box if we go up here and click on the left hand arrow it's going to take us back to our timeline view and it's showing you the tutorials there but we're going to skip it because i'm showing you how to do it here so let's look at that transition right now Let's hit play and see what that looks like. And here it is. And there's the transition effect right there. And then you're done. So that's one way of doing it. And if you wanted to add more, uh, say you wanted to cut it right there a little bit after that. Once again, you tap. And now it's going to highlight the second clip that we used. Now that we cut it, we can even divide that one. So again, go beneath your pencil and there's the little racer or cutting tool whatever you want to call it tap on it and you see it divided that one in half and now we have another transition box and we can add 
a different transition effect. So let's click on this one just for the sake of the tutorial and see now it adds it. So now you even have two transitions in one scene. So let's see what that looks like. Let's scrub back to the beginning. And scrubbing back means that you can just click and hold on the timeline and drag it back. And let's hit play and see what that looks like. You have two transitions effects. Here we go. We got one right there. And here comes the other one. There you go. Very cool. All right. So let's go into a different way of doing it. So, so that was cutting and adding a transition. So let's see how we do it with two scenes. So here are my scenes that I want to use. So we're going to click and highlight that one, hit the plus button or you can click and drag it however you want. I find it's easier just to tap it, tap it again. Okay, so this is using two different scenes. So as you can see, with two scenes, when you add them, it automatically gives you that transition box so you don't have to cut it. Let's tap on that. And uh, this time, let's just add a blur effect and see what that looks like. So let's click back. Let's play from the beginning and see exactly what that looks like. All right, so here we go. Now, as you can see, these two scenes are similar. So now that it's playing through, and there you go, this transition effect. All right, guys, so I hope you found this useful and I hope you learned something from it. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out where the transition was because there's really no button on it to tell you where they are. Um, other than when you split the scene, the icons pop up. All right, so let me know in the comments below if this was useful to you. Um, there's obviously other ways to do of doing it. If you do it another way beyond what I'm showing you here, let me know. I would love to learn. And uh, we'll have another tutorial very soon where, where I'll show you how to add text to your video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Your feedback is important to me, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.